evening, go away, come again another day. Gone are those days when we children used to run and play outside our homes. Today we rephrase this rhyme and sing. Sun, sun, go away, don't you burn my skin away. I've got a smarty phone to play and I don't care if you are to stay. Oh yes, we are comfortable within the four walls of an AC room and we train our kids the same way. Why? Simply because we are scared of the sun now. And why is that? Because they say that the ozone layer has depleted so much that now when we go out in the sun, we are exposing ourselves to the carcinogenic UV rays from the sun. So you go out during the day, it's not just some sunshine that you'll get. You might even get a skin cancer. Oh, that is scary. But all is well and all is safe now that we are sitting inside. Life is beautiful. 30 to 40 years down the lane, you start getting a few grey hairs on your head and life welcomes you to the age of oohs and outs. You can't walk a few kilometers, let alone run. You can't sit or stand for a few hours at a stretch. And finally, after trying out a variety of ointments and painkillers, you go to the doctor. And he says, you are perhaps vitamin D deficient and you should be on regular supplements. Wow. Here's what you've got for yourself for the rest of your life to feed on. Time for a rewind to see what went wrong, where and when. Years ago, when you chose to stay away from sunlight, they said you are safer. But what they did not say is that you are denying your body an opportunity to synthesize vitamin D. Vitamin D is not just a vitamin, but considered a hormone that has an important role in many body mechanisms like calcium metabolism, yes, your bone strength, immunity, your body's capacity to fight against pathogens, the natural microbiome, yes, the friendly bacteria that help you in many digestive processes, and even on certain nerve growth factors, perhaps your brain function. Vitamin D is majorly obtained by the natural process of dermal synthesis from cholesterol in the presence of UVB rays from the sun. Our skin naturally contains a precursor to vitamin D. When the sun's ultraviolet rays touch the skin, they convert this precursor molecule to vitamin D3, which then follows a metabolic pathway through the liver and the kidneys where it is converted into a molecule called calcitriol, the active form of vitamin D. The dietary supplement, which is also in the inactive form, follows a similar pathway to get activated. Now think of all those beautiful sunny days you wasted inside your home. So next time your kid asks permission to go out and play in the sun, what would you say? Oh, by the way, this is Priya Venugopal from Department of Computational Biology and Bioinformatics, University of Kerala. Thank you.